Yo, what is up everybody? It's Destination Delight and welcome to the channel. Today we're diving headfirst into the dazzling, exhilarating sensory overload that is Las Vegas. Whether you're a seasoned high roller or a first time visitor, there are some things you just can't miss in this city that never sleeps. We're talking about the iconic landmarks, the hidden gems, the experiences that make Vegas, well, Vegas. So buckle up because we're about to break down the absolute must do activities on your next Vegas adventure. Get ready to hit the ground running because we're not holding back. We're diving straight into the heart of it all, the pulse of the city, the one and only. First up, we're hitting the strip. This ain't just a street, people, it's an experience. Imagine a concrete jungle, but instead of trees, it's towering hotels, each one more outlandish than the last. We're talking pyramids, castles, even a giant replica of the Eiffel Tower. You've got the Bellagio, the MGM Grand Caesars Palace, the Venetian, named synonymous with luxury and risk. The energy here is contagious. You can feel it in the air. This electric hum of anticipation, of dreams being chased, of fortunes won and lost. But the strip's not just about the casinos, it's a sensory feast with street performers, music and gourmet food. Walk down this street and you'll see it all. High rollers, bachelorette parties, wide-eyed tourists. Bottom line, you can't say you've done Vegas without experiencing the Strip. Okay, so you've done the Strip. Now let's get a little weird. Head downtown to the Fremont Street experience. Imagine a five-block stretch of street covered by a massive curved LED canopy displaying pure visual insanity. It's like Times Square on steroids with a dash of Burning Man. As you walk down this pedestrian mall, you're bombarded with light shows, music videos and psychedelic visuals. And that's before you even factor in the street performers. Musicians, magicians, artists and characters so unique you'll swear you've stepped into a live action comic book. It's a constant barrage of sights, sounds and experiences that'll leave you grinning. But Fremont Street isn't just about the spectacle, it's also home to some of the oldest casinos in Vegas like the Golden Nugget and Binions. Grab a yard long margarita, find a spot under the canopy and get ready for a sensory overload. Trust me, you won't forget your first time on Fremont Street. All right, even in a city built on excess, some things are just plain beautiful. Case in point, the Bellagio Fountains. Picture this, a massive lake right in the heart of the Strip with water shooting hundreds of feet into the air, choreographed to music, lights and pure magic. Seriously, it's like watching a ballet performed by water. Every 30 minutes, the fountains come alive with this mesmerizing display of power and grace. You've got classical music, opera, pop songs, even movie scores, all perfectly synchronized to the water's movements. It's romantic, awe-inspiring, and completely free. Grab yourself a drink, find a spot along the railing, and just enjoy the show. Trust me, it's the kind of experience that sticks with you long after the lights have faded. Okay, time to get some perspective, literally. We're talking about the high roller, the world's tallest observation wheel. Imagine stepping into a glass capsule bigger than your average studio apartment and being slowly lifted 550 feet into the air. As you ascend, the strip unfolds beneath you like a glittering neon tapestry. It's breathtaking. From up here you can see it all, the sprawling cityscape, the distant mountains, the twinkling lights of the strip. It's the perfect way to get your bearings and appreciate the sheer scale of this city. Plus, you can upgrade your experience with a happy hour pod complete with an open bar. Whether you go during the day or at night, a ride on the high roller is an experience you won't forget. It's a chance to see Vegas from a whole new angle. All right, for our final stop, we're gonna step back in time to a place where Vegas' past still glitters. I'm talking about the Neon Museum, a graveyard for the city's most iconic signs. It's a two acre outdoor exhibit filled with giant vintage neon signs each one a relic from Vegas's golden age. You've got signs from old casinos, motels, even wedding chapels, all glowing under the desert sky. Walking through these rows of neon is like stepping onto a movie set. Each sign has a story to tell, like the Golden Nugget sign or the Stardust sign. The Neon Museum isn't just a collection of signs, it's a testament to the city's history and enduring allure. It's a reminder that even in a city that's constantly changing, some things are just too cool to fade away. 
So there you have it, folks, my top five must-do activities in Las Vegas. From the sensory overload of the Strip to the nostalgic glow of the Neon Museum, this city has something for everyone. Whether you're here to gamble, to party, or just to experience a place unlike anywhere else on Earth, Vegas won't disappoint. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel tips and guides. See you in the next adventure.